YouTuber, Irv Lindsay here. How you doing? Um, on today's adventure vlog, we are going to talk about Harriet Beecher Stowe and a few items of historical importance uh, where Cincinnati and the Underground Railroad are connected to. Uh, it's all really interesting. It all takes place on the east side of town. Stick around. I think you'll like this one. Harriet Beecher Stowe uh, was not originally from Cincinnati. Uh, if you don't know who she is, she wrote a book by the name of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uncle Tom's Cabin was an, uh, a story uh, about slavery in the South, and it rallied abolitionists together, and it angered people in the South. And it was uh, it was released about almost ten years before the Civil American Civil War. But Harriet Beecher Stowe was originally born in Litchfield, Connecticut, uh, in 1811. Uh, she was the seventh of 13 kids, and her father was a minister. She moved to Cincinnati when she was 21 because her father lived here and was the uh, president of Lane Theological Seminary. So what I want to do today, folks, is I want to take you over to that part of town. We're going uh, to use Google Maps here. This is the... Uh, Beecher, uh, what's it called? The Harriet Beecher Stowe House. Now, she lived here when she was, uh, like, a, like I was saying, when she was 21. Uh, this is a, I believe this is a National Historic Site. But, that's not why, that's not why we're here. There's a lot of really cool stuff along this, and if you go to the Harriet Beecher Stowe website, I mean the Harriet Beecher Stowe House website, for the Cincinnati, there's another house, I believe it's in Maine. Uh, anyway, the Cincinnati uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe House uh, has an, uh, an abolitionist walking tour of, uh, of Walnut Hills. Uh, I highly recommend you look at it. One day I'm going to take that when the weather is better and I can uh, get out and go do some stuff. But I wanted to share this with you guys because if we go just down the street, okay, here is right here. Here's the Harriet Beecher Stowe house, all right? Now, I believe she actually, when she got first got married, there was another house down the street, and uh, her and her husband were actually part of the Underground Railroad. But right here, if you look, this is called Chapel Street. Now, you guys might be familiar. There's a couple of car lots here, a Cadillac dealership, and a Frisch's. But right here in this square between Chapel Street... Gilbert Avenue and Yale Avenue, right in here. Let's uh, let's go down Yale, Ave Yale Avenue. Look at this. You guys see that? That's old abandoned steps from the old Lane Theological Seminary that used to occupy this entire block of land. All right, so you can still see stuff like this in Cincinnati. Why nobody's built on this property? Why those uh, these these stairs in particular are almost not even there anymore? But these are in really good shape. Alrighty, guys, there's another set of steps over here. Let me show you where we're at. Uh, just a, a moment ago, we were over on Yale Avenue over here, about right there. There's this old alley and there's a bunch of houses right here between this alley and uh, Park Avenue uh, so that alley is called Seminary Place you know obviously there used to be a seminary in, on this property so we're over here on Chapel Street now and uh, there's a lot of old stuff over here guys I, I don't I don't know what it used to be anybody know what this used to be there's a dude standing there this looks like a bunch of old stuff across the street. But looky right here. Look at those steps. Now those steps, you know those used to lead up to a building. Had to. So if we skip down the street just a little bit, you can see some more debris. Looks like that might have also been some steps. And down here as well, 
Also, there's another pair of abandoned steps. Now, what did these used to lead to? Let me find you a picture of the old Lane Theological Seminary. There's several pictures online. All right. You know, my searches for this stuff often brings me back to CincinnatiViews.net. Great website, lots of fantastic pictures. Um, now, now here are some pictures of the old Lane Seminary, what it just calls Lane Seminary. Uh, here's the seminary in 1848, and it's really difficult to know what was where, um, to be completely honest, or which direction it was facing. I have a feeling this was facing uh, probably Chapel Street. That makes the most sense to me. Uh, now here's, this looks like a chapel. <clears throat> Perhaps this is, uh, <clears throat> this is what some of those steps were leading up to. Guys, if any of you know for sure what the orientation was of these buildings, where they were located and what street they were on, that would be a great help. So that's it, folks. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of history in Walnut Hills when it comes to um, abolition. Cincinnati was a hotbed of abolition and was one of the big um, one of the big stops in the Underground Railroad as uh, fugitive slaves were trying to travel north. The Ohio River was the freedom boundary for many years, and a lot of them were just trying to get to Canada, trying to get out of the United States altogether. And uh, Cincinnati was a big stop, and she learned a lot about about slavery while here, and she used a lot of that knowledge uh, later when she wrote the book Uncle Tom's Cabin. Thanks for watching, guys. It's just been a little bit of Cincinnati history talking about um, uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe, Uncle Tom's Cabin, and the roots that a lot of the slavery and uh, a lot of the anti-slavery movement had here in Cincinnati. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your week. Keep uh, fighting the good fight. And hey, I'll see you in the next video.